Hi guys, and welcome back to another Dot Trace video, and today we're going to be playing Ride 4. We're going to be using the KTM 390R right here in the UMC track. This is going to be the Pro 300 Cup in career mode in Ride 4. Very exciting to be playing this again. Uh, the 300cc bikes are a blast to use, so I was very excited to use this KTM. And here on this track, which is going to be the shorter variant of the UMC, not quite as long as the other ones, and we get a good start, but we're still back of the grid as such. As contact is made, as carnage has already happened and occurred here in this magnificent track. So we now have two Chinese riders ahead of us. We're going to break a little bit later than they do and go round the outside, or at least attempt to go round the outside. But again, carnage made! <laughs> More carnage as the Chinese man drops his bike into the other Chinese man and sends this 26-year-old British man straight into the gravel. Luckily, I was able to stay up on the board the bike, but now we're going to have to chase down the entire pack, which is about four seconds ahead up the road. Well, it's going to be tough. As there's more crashes ahead of us, oh my goodness. Eddie McDowell and Michelangelo, whatever the hell his name was, has also gone down in the bin. They've been chewing gravel. Tell you what, these 300cc bikes were just absolutely brilliant. I had a blast playing these yesterday. I'm actually, I actually had two of these bikes, I have no idea why. I think I won one of them and bought the other. I don't know why I bought it. Maybe I just won both of them, I'm not sure. But it was actually really fun to use, I really enjoyed it. I did a couple more races after this one. This uh, video will include three races. Bit of helmet cam for you in a bit too. But i got to say, um, this, this bike is brilliant. I had a great time using it as we enter turn one, sunset bend. Now turn two, turn three coming up. We are a lot quicker here, so we are able to gain in on them. Still two and a half seconds up the road. This is the race leader, Mia Hunger, the Swiss lady. Good exit speed there. Gonna line us up for the Black Rock hairpin. Careful not to run it in too deep. As we have Henrik Werther in our sights right now, we are determined to catch her. Well, catch him, sorry. As we turn it right for turn seven in knockout. So, you, brilliant corner names, absolutely brilliant corner names. This is uh, apparently the first time I used this bike. Maybe I sold the other bike that I'd not used. I don't know if the bike. I don't know if the actual mileage that you gain is only down to the one bike. So, for example, if I had one bike and then sold it and then bought it again, would that replace the mileage? I'm not sure how it works on that one. I'm guessing it would. But we have closed up on the gap ahead of us. We have closed in on the group ahead as we go up for a wider sweeping line. Oh! Forced to lift the bike up there so we don't make contact with the Finnish rider. Now in the slipstream of the Finn of the Italian. Next it's going to be the British rider, Peter O'Donnelly. The American, Ryan O'Andrews. Oh, we picked up penalty time there for going a little bit too wide onto the grass. Well, onto the gravel. I guess it's burnt grass at this point in this heat. We are on the final lap. This is a three lap sprint here in UMC. And we are down about a second and a half, or we were a second and a half, less than a second now. Being careful not to touch the offside track. Staying at inbounds all time. Keeping on the... Oh, as we run it wide. Thankfully no penalty time was given. For the additional 76 thousandths of a second that we've already received. As we are closing in on now on Mia Hunger. It's 20 to 1 here in Salt Lake City. 26 degrees temperature as we oh, all be careful there on the left hand side of the bike. Again, another flick there as well. well Mia Hunger not using the optimal racing line there. And that could help us chase in it because we've only got a couple of more corners left now. Here in Precision, we've got to get this absolutely right. We've got to get this precise as if the corner would dictate it with its name. A lunge up on the inside. Have we made it stick? Can we get through? Have we led this Grand Prix at the final corner? We win here in UMC. Now 
Next track on our list, a favourite of mine, Brands Hatch. It seems to be on this channel yet again. I bloody love Brands Hatch here in the Helmet Cam. Say you what, the Helmet Cam with this bike made it the greatest bike ever. <laughs> I had such a great time as we're going to use confidence to go around the outside of a few riders here. Johnny Glamour was behind us temporarily. Shout out to Johnny Glamour. As we go around the outside of Druids, not quite there. As we can make a move now onto the Portuguese rider, we do. Beautifully executed. Chester Anderson ahead. Mark McLeod. As we run it wider for Surtees. Be careful not to bump the back of the riders because they tend to go slow as they pick the bike up. We're going between the riders now. Through on the Italian. Not sure why this KTM is so much quicker, but we've probably just got a better drive. And for some reason, the AI never took in properly. On the right here for Hawthorne Bend. Nora Newman. Could make a lunge here, but might not. No, we will. We'll make the lunge. Beautifully done. Up into third place in this first lap of this three lap Grand Prix. Careful not to touch the outside of the track there. Bring it in nicely for turn eight. Excellently done so far. Ooh, a little bit close to the curb. This time, chasing down Scarlet Cole and Walter Nemetz. Pretty good so far as the uh, brake fluid is bouncing rapidly. <laughs> it looks great that, doesn't it? I must say, it's one of those little features that I just love about Ride 4. So, closing in now on the two riders ahead. We are in the podium positions already, so fantastic start in this very damp Brands Hatch Grand Prix. As we will try and close in on Scarlet Cole. Confidence is the key when you're in helmet cam, when you're riding these 300cc bikes. And with that confidence comes great battles as we run it a little bit wide. Scarlet Cole was able to take advantage there. But we will strike back at the other Brit. Careful not to touch the green part of the track there. You don't want to gain any additional penalty time, or any penalty time for that matter. Good execution in the corner. We'll have to pick the bike up here as Scarlet Cole does not get the correct exit. We're currently two abreast down the long straight. Pushing past her now. Quick check behind to make sure we're not going to take a nose out. As we have Walter ahead. Closing in on the run. The German who leads this British Grand Prix. I want the home cooking. I want the home victory. Damn it, Walter, I'm coming for you. As we turn eight, machines once more. A little bit wide again, but it's not too bad. And breaking early. Got to get Sterling's correct here. To use the acceleration of this KTM 390. Not the fastest bike. But we're all on the same bike, so it's it's fair. As we close right in on Walter. Oh, and contact made. Sometimes, I swear on Ride 4, you make contact without actually making contact. Because on MotoGP 20, there's a little bit of a gap. And you can usually take that gap, and there's no contact made. But on Ride 4, there's contact even when you don't actually make contact. Like, if you look at, uh, into the replay mode or into photo, photo mode, contact is usually made before the two bikes even connect, which is not as good, for obvious reasons. Turn three for the Graham Hill Bend. The German rider still leading this Grand Prix by quite a lot. Three tenths of a second. It's not going to be a lot towards the end of the lap because we will definitely close in and catch him. We're already going to do it now. We're already closing. Can we go around the outside? Careful not to touch the... Oh, and he did that annoying pickup. It's like we're doing a track day and he doesn't want to get in my way. <laughs> So we're leading by three tenths of a second now, four tenths of a second, that was five. It's ours to lose, and we're not going to lose. It's quarter ten, Westfield Bend, ten degrees here in this damp British Grand Prix. Sodden track. Well, it's drying actually. Pretty impressive for three laps of drying. It's full acceleration on the old KTM. Kind of disrespected this bike when I first used it. But uh, I take it back. It's absolutely brilliant. It's imperative to play in 
helmet cam though, because it just feels so good. It feels amazing. Of course, always try and uh, include the helmet cam when I can. Priming accidentally, almost. So, I like to try and change it up. Helmet cam, one race, third person, another. That's another victory, by the way. But we'll go for one more helmet cam here in Cadwell Park. Terrific track, terrific action. I really, really love this bike, this helmet cam, this track. Perfect combination, I swear. Turn one. Coppice for the first time. Can we go around the outside of a few riders? Here's Carn oh, Con Carnage! Oh! <laughs> I can't tell you how scary that was, actually. In the helmet cam, when a rider crashes in front of you, and you're trying to record and do a good race, and that happens, my goodness, it's panic. There's Mark Vasquez. I think he might be the man who crashed. But he's even further behind than me. We're going to break very late, up into turn four, to close in. On the uh, positions we gained, uh, positions we lost rather, there's Valerie Letelova, the Czech Republican ahead. We're going to gain a lot of speed here around this corner. We're going to round the outside of two riders, three riders. Cover the cut. Oh, contact. Oh, my mistake. Made a big boob there. Major, major mistake. What a hash of that corner. Just carried way too much speed as we close in on Alvin Finch. But we're feeling it now. There's nothing to lose. We, you know, we had our race almost ruined. As we're going to briefly go up on the inside, almost picked up penalty time. As we, oh, it's, oh! <laughs> the Brazilian just got launched into oblivion. This has been in a wicked, wild, incredible race. It's just so bizarre. He's going to run it a little bit too deep here for the hairpin. We're sitting on the grass. Quick check behind so we don't bump any of the riders as we rejoin the circuit. But we are in fourth place, with a massive three-second gap to the leader. So I guess we can count out the win in this one, but we, we will go for the podium positions and gauge the gap as we go along. Well, Cadwell Park, fantastic track. Perfect for these 300cc machines. Really, really good fun. Well, can we close in on Felix Bishop? At least try and take one spot on the podium. Not really our fault, considering... We had the massive crash at the beginning, and of course we took someone out, which I guess is my fault. Comment section down below, let me know if I was in the wrong for that. Should I be penalised? Probably. It was a audacious lunge. Big mistake, you know, these things happen. This is racing. Rubbing is racing. But it was a bit aggressive, so the win is out of question. Or is it? She's made a mistake! Sora Newman has crashed! Felix Bishop is now in receipt of first place, Cody Murray second, and Dr. Ace in third. Can we close in on the, the double ahead? Cody Murray, he's going to be slower in this corner. We're going to attempt to go around the outside with a Lord audacious move. Can it work? Can't, oh! <laughs> oh, that rumble strip caught me out a few times. Oh, this is where we use our skill speed and precision of this KTM to close back in on Mr. Murray. Scottish flag waving to the left there temporarily. As the gap is just over a second, but it will be under a second with the utilisation of the slipstream. Can we go around the outside of Cody Murray? I'm determined to go around the outside. It's the trademark move as we contact his mate again. <laughs> Jesus! Rubbing is racing. Racing is rubbing, ladies and gentlemen. This has been fantastic. Well, Felix Bishop has taken advantage of that carnage and now leads by just under a second. It's probably too little too late for the 26-year-old Dr. Ace. But can we do it? Six tenths of a second. We'll be running wide. Oh, just clipped the curb. Went a bit on the grass. Someone's going to have some grass cut that they didn't buy. Leaning right for the gooseneck. Flicking it left for the other side of the gooseneck. It's uh, still a second. It's probably pretty much curtains. The only way that's going to happen now is if we really close in on this braking zone here. Because the AI is slow. And we have done. 
It's less than four tenths of a second now. Do we go for the lunge again? We're not going to be close enough. We'll try and hold it into the inside. Can we go for a move in a moment? Oh, big moment. Oh, huge moment. Oh, airborne. <laughs> what a race. We, re we lead here in Cadwell after a rider almost died in front of us. We are going to win here in Cadwell Park. What a race. These bikes are bloody brilliant. I can't wait for the next ones. Guys, thank you very much for watching as always. Hope you've enjoyed the video and my commentary. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. And I will see you next time. Ciao for now.